You have done it. You've put this CD into your player because you have decided today is the day to stop. You have been wanting to stop for so long. The irritating fact of having to rush down to the store just to get those cigarettes, the desperate feeling inside of you, where's your lighter, having to go outside to get that smoke, interrupting your schedule just so that you can calm yourself down, having to endure those times when you go into a certain location, smoking's not allowed, just watching the clock, trying to wait until that next smoke, completely distracted because you have to get the next smoke, but today... Today, you get to be free from that. In fact, you get to be free from that, and now you get to put the money some other place. You get to put your time in some other place that really matters to you. More importantly than that, your body can finally come back to being your body, not consumed by all the chemicals that are poured into that cigarette that you pour into your body. Health, energy, vivaciousness, being able to breathe, knowing you don't have to wash your clothes and your hair at every turn. You can be free from all of this. That's today. That's why you put this CD in your player and you're now listening to it. This first part of the CD, you can listen to at any time when you're awake, washing dishes, cleaning the other parts of the house, driving to work, walking around, doing whatever you want to do. This is hypnosis when you are alert and live lively in your mind and eager and excited to be able to absorb the information that will set you free to be able to stop smoking. This is the beginning of it. My name is Dr. Carol Francis. I'm a clinical psychologist, marriage, family, child therapist, and a certified medical hypnotherapist. I have been working with people for 26 years to make sure that they can turn their life into being what they want their life to be not what others want them to be, and not what a chemical wants to turn you into. This is going to be hypnosis that helps you stop the trance suggestions you have been giving yourself about smoking all along. You probably didn't realize that every time you smoke a cigarette, you give yourself suggestions that hypnotize you into believing that you actually need to continue smoking. That's right. You've been hypnotizing yourself saying, I've got to do it, I've got to do it, I have to have it. And you've been so compelled to go reach for it that you didn't even listen to the other parts of you that said, well, okay, I feel desperate. Physically, I feel rotten. Oh, I just feel like I'm kind of addicted to it. But do I really have to have it? Of course not. You don't really have to have it. It is not a matter of survival. It is not a matter of your personality. It is not a matter of ethics or value or character to have that cigarette. What it is a matter of is that you've just convinced yourself that you can't endure the desperate moment when you just want to rush to get that chemical back into your system. You have absolutely convinced yourself with all of these suggestions, those hypnotic suggestions, that you have got to have that next cigarette. You no longer need to have that cigarette. You're done. You are living in an error in which you have so much assistance available to you to help you live your life the way you want to. You have so much assistance available to you to be able to stop smoking today. You can use the chemical patches. You can use the nicotine gum. You can start slowing down on smoking today if you want to go the slow route or just choose a cigarette that has less of what makes you addicted to them today. All those ways are you saying, I'm moving in that direction. And if you're not ready to go cold turkey today, you're moving in that direction. But I, of course, am going to help you stop smoking today. I mentioned earlier that you have been giving yourself hypnotic suggestions to make sure that you continue to smoke. Yes, you must smoke, smoke, smoke. You've needed it, you've told yourself, every time you saw someone or saw them sold, I must have, I must have, oh, I'm being a bit dramatic, aren't I? But the power that the cigarettes have had over you to keep you attached to them is so similar to feeling like you are possessed by something that is not you. Today, we return you to yourself, no longer having to have something that you have convinced yourself you have to have when that is simply the lie. It's a funny thing about addictions. Your body begins to believe it actually needs certain things that it does not need to have because you've been telling it to, to need it over and over and over again, so the body begins to be dependent on it. So now it starts today 
will be the process of stopping that lie that you're giving your body and then your body being able to wake up once again and say, of course, I don't need that. Not only do I not need it, I don't want it. (laughs) There's nothing about smoking a cigarette that I want is basically the truth of your body. It's the truth of your personality. It is the truth of your family. It is the truth of those around you that deal and contend with all of the things you have to do when you rush to get that cigarette or the way you smell or the way you act or the way you cover it up, the way you have to go isolate yourself, the way you have to go spend the money in a speed. The truth of it is that you want to be free. Statistics say that there is a very, very small portion of people who smoke who actually find it to be a wonderful, wonderful habit. Occasionally, you find those individuals that smoke ever so often, and there's absolutely no addictive process in it at all. But most of the time, cigarettes are made to convince your brain that you need to have the next one. So there will be a transition. You're going to have to tell your body the truth for a bit. You've been lying to it for quite a while, and now it's time to tell it the truth. The truth is, you know, we really don't need this. We do understand you've grown accustomed to it. Your nervous system has grown accustomed to having that nicotine to calm it down. Your nervous system has grown accustomed to you being able to have something that makes you rest for a moment. And if you get anxious in a moment or reach for the cigarette, you have emotionally told yourself the cigarette is your friend, your buddy that keeps you relaxed. Guess what? That's all a lie. And now you need to tell your body every time it kind of reaches for that old habit, I don't need to do this. I know we're used to it, but there are other ways to deal with this, and now we're going to learn the truthful ways of dealing with it. Now, one thing that is very nice about hypnosis is that you have an opportunity to tell your mind, your unconscious mind, your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, and all of your emotional systems, including all the structures in your brain, throughout your nervous system, all the biochemical signals that pertain to your emotions, what the truth is, which is that you do not need to have the cigarette anymore. Hypnosis works so well and is always present. If you're in a car right now, look around and see the advertisements that are bombarding you. You weren't paying attention to them a moment ago. You were listening to the CD. So look around. Look at all the subliminal messages sent your way. Maybe perhaps you were listening to the radio or watching television and noticing the commercials. You may not have been paying attention to them, but studies show that they have a subliminal impact on you all the time, bombarding you with making you want, wish, or desire, and go out and purchase what they want you to purchase. So hypnotic suggestions work powerfully well. We are open so much to hypnotic suggestions, and we have found through the science of advertising, through the psychology of change, that there is one very powerful element to making you be able to live the life you want to live according to your own setup. What is the trick? Feel very deeply and intensely what your intention is. Pretty easy, wouldn't you say? So today, guess what your intention is? I want to be free of smoking! Ah! I get to be free of smoking today. Do you feel the charge of that? You get to be free. This is your freedom we're talking about. This is your health. This is you giving yourself this absolute wonderful gift to get rid of the lies that you've been telling yourself. Tell your body, 